up everyone good morning welcome back to the channel i'm two and today we are working on the ae92 uh when i got this car here the last owner put these these turn signals on front clip right here and he also put the turn signal right here too on the grill i'm not really a fan of that so today i'm here at pick and pull trying to get these parts for the low i'm gonna go in and try to get these parts hopefully it's still there we'll see we'll go in and uh check it out lips right here these cloth lips they can be used for almost anything Got an Acura Integra Civic let's see what's in here it's totally stripped somebody came through she got the lug nuts I'm just glad that's not hot today it's actually pretty cool get us the CRV the motor is still intact somebody come get it quick I haven't seen these for a while it's infinities all right check out this Honda Civic EX four door they tinted the tail lights and what is this they wrap the gas cover Alright, so look what we got here. We got a Civic parking for that car right there. The Civic EX4 door. And it has the Type R lip right here. Man, this is gold. Back in the days, if we found these, we would be so happy. Because you know? they were so expensive back in the days. And now, they're a dime a dozen, eBay, whatsoever, you know. Then again, if this was back in the early 2000s, I would be so happy just to find a piece like this because I could fix it, you know, fiberglass and paint. So, and now it's just junk. But, so after a few minutes, finally got these out. A little injury, Ooh. you know. Okay, we found it. We found the SR5. This is what I need right here. I need these. This cover right here. The turn signals. And the grill with the Toyota. I'll take this part here. And the grill. And these two pieces right here. And maybe the headlights too. I love the seats though. Buzz a hole right here. It's okay. It's all right. Let's see what else. I might just take these two signals. right here right here right here and down here on the side here too 
and then we gotta take the motor mount we gotta take the motor out first before we can even take off the headlights so now i gotta put this back onto the headlight right here so hopefully they just charge me one piece instead of charging me for a motor and the headlight so i'm gonna put it back to you at one piece all right guys so i'm here at pick and pull and i was working on the sr5 taking off the headlights and then somebody came up to me matt saw my car parked out front and he knew that it was me because he walked over here and saw me working on the headlights so matt's mm -hmm. a cool guy i was just talking to him about phoenix my engine motor everything yep. and you're a honda guy but now you yep. become a toyota guy right oh uh, maybe maybe, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I, I got more respect for toyota now. okay <laughs> so uh so what are you doing here at the pick, uh, pick and pull here uh, i'm just getting parts for my civic right now um i have a um, i'm taking my uh, cord to get tuned today but like uh -huh. um other than that just getting parts for that i have uh -huh. a, i have a couple projects going on but my uh -huh. civic's the main one i'm putting a uh it's another stock uh, single cam engine in it, but okay. I had to get some parts out here for it. And it's kind of, look, I always come to Junkyard, it's my favorite place. So <laughs> yeah. I, I look for parts and I meet people too, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like like me right now, huh? Yeah. And now you're on the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, hey, all right, up, Matt, so hey. it was good to meet you. Hey, and I hope meeting. to see you again, man. Yes, sir. All right, man. All right, all right, guys. Yep. <laughs> So I decided to take off the steering wheel as well too. So I think it looks better. The size is a little bit smaller and just more correct for the car. I was glad that uh, I didn't need to go get a steering wheel puller. That would have sucked. But anyways, got it off. I'm also debating if I should take this fender here too because it's in pretty good shape, decent shape, you know, not that bad. All right, so I think I'm done for today. I got the steering wheel, headlights, turn signals. I wish the bumper was in good condition because I really need the bumper. As soon as I get the bumper, I can start prepping it for paint. That's the next find I gotta look for. Other than that, let's go get some tacos. Hopefully the taco truck's out there. Pick and pull tacos, that was the best. So it's been about two days since I went to the junkyard. Uh, yesterday, Saturday, I went to the Cali Shine car show. And guess what? I took the trophy for best old school. I drove my 1973 Datsun 240Z. And this is the first trophy for that car. And I'm really excited and happy that all the hard work finally paid off and I took home a trophy. But since today I'm not doing anything, I might as well finish installing these parts that I got from the junkyard for the AE92. I got the parts all laid out right here. Since it's kind of cloudy in my ring any minute so I'm just gonna do the turn signals I don't really like how he put these these aftermarket LED AutoZone lights right here onto the frame right here so I'm just gonna install what I found at the junkyard on these right here and if I have time I'll switch up the grill as well uh, before it rains but yep let's get going <laughs> today i finally got the led lights out and i like it way more than before before it had these led lights right here and it kind of bothered me because it felt out of place now with the oem reflector it looks really smooth plus in the front grille no more led lights right here and also we have the toyota emblem on same as the other side I took off the led lights replaced the reflectors i'm just glad that we i didn't have to take off the whole piece right here now i have extra piece and it was an easy process to place let me know what you think leave a comment in the comment section as for me i love it the only thing that's left is finding a front bumper so i can get it ready for paint and it should be sick thanks for watching the video be sure to hit the subscribe button because next week i'm going to global attack and doing a vlog about that you don't want to miss out that video so turn on your notification button and i'll see you guys next time